Hey, bay climbers, you might be tying your shoes wrong. Maybe. I'll grab the table and I'll show you what I mean. Let's roll the intro. Okay guys, you might be saying, Josh, I know how to tie my shoes. I've been tying them correctly all my life. Oh no, no, no. I've been seeing you guys you tie your shoe and then you walk 10 feet and then it unties again. I'll show you why. The, tie, the shoelace tie, tying your shoes, to break it down, it's actually a box knot. And there's a wrong, right and wrong way to tie a box knot. If you tie it the wrong way, it's called a granny. I have no idea why it's called a granny, but it's called a granny. And you tie it right, well, it's a box knot. Now let me show you what I mean. Now grab these two ends here. Okay, now this is a box knot and the right way you should be tying your shoes. You go over, I'm using two contrasting color ropes so that it looks a little easier for you guys. And then you go over again like that. Now you can see here that this loop is pinching this loop here. That is a box knot, and that's the way your shoelaces should tie. Notice that these two ends are going left and right. Now watch when you tie it wrong. This is a granny. Now, notice how the two laces are this way. When you tie a granny, it ends up pulling out. When you tie a box knot correctly, it ends up getting stronger when, and that is why when you, shy, when you tie a shoelace, it comes apart. Because if you don't tie a box knot, you're probably tying a granny and it's just coming right undone. Let me show you what I mean with some shoes. Okay, here's my dirty, nasty shoes. Can you guess which one is the box knot and which one's the granny? This one's the box knot. You see how it goes left and right? And this one goes up and down. This one's gonna untie a lot quicker and a lot faster than this one. Now, you might be cheeky and say, I'll just do one of these. And then we call that in the biz, if you can't tie a knot, you tie a lot. So you're gonna wanna tie a knot correctly. I have had guys working for, uh, working for me for years and they cannot tie a box knot correctly for the life of them. I have no idea why. I think it's just you have to visualize what's going on and then once you know what's going on you can never do it wrong. I'll show you what I look for real quick when I tie a box and I'll bring the ropes back. You might say, Josh, I just saw you do this. What are you doing? Trying to increase your watch time on YouTube? Maybe. Well, or maybe you just need to see it again. So this first part really doesn't matter. You can go this way or you can go this way. It's the second part that gets you. Okay, now this is what I look for when I tie a knot. I want, or tie a box knot. When, what I want to see is this end. I look at this end. I don't know why I don't look at this end. I always look at my left end. And I want the left end to come around and touch this end here, like that. And then I know it's a box knot. That's what I look for every time I tie a box knot. Now. You might say if you go this way, it's touching, but it's not because it goes, it goes on the other end of this loop. You want it on the same side of the loop, okay? So you want it like this. And I think after a while of tying the knot, you probably end up tying it the same way every single time. You just go around once and then you go around again. Well, actually, you know, every time I tie this knot, I go around a different way. What I really look for is that th this end is <clears throat> on the same on the same loop. That's going in the same loop. If it's going around the other way, you know it's going to be a granny, and it's going to go like that. And then a dead giveaway is it's going up and down instead of left and right. Well, I hopefully that changes your life and your shoes stop untying. This is a video I think that had to be made and has to be on the internet. Uh, let's go to the outro. Okay, everyone, is a real quick one for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you know someone that can't tie a box knot for their life, you either buy them some Velcro shoes or you can show them this video. Uh, 
Like, comment, subscribe. Here's my Instagram. I make a new video every week. So consider subscribing. Josh Perry climbing out of this video. I'll see you guys next week, like I, like I just said. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh,